we are Tony and Lynn Ray, and we own the sedan 40 called Cortado, built in 1973. So we've been uh, we've been owners of, uh, of Cortado for a little over three years now, and um, when we first bought the boat, uh, Lynn and I talk about it a lot. We had an incredible experience out on the St. Johns River with the, with the previous owner who took us out, and, and I looked up above the door, and there's a little plaque that says, uh, "Life's too short to own an ugly boat." And that's been a, it's a cliche, but it's a cliche because it's true. That we are now at the end of our third year of homeschooling on our on our Huck, Huckins Cortado, and and it's been such a magical experience, a family quality family time. We don't call it homeschool; we call it adventure school because we we tackle all the regular subjects of of, of our school. Um, curriculum, but we also make sure that we all have a sense of adventure, that the kids get out, paddleboard during recess, or um, we make sure that we go interesting places, we study about those places, we study about sea life and animals. I'm Sophia Ray, and I live on my Huckins um, in the winter and the spring. My name is Oliver, and I live on a 40-foot Huckins. I'm learning how to drive the boat, and it's it's hard, but it, you get used to it. It's really fun. I really like homeschooling because it gives you a lot of freedom to learn really whatever you want. I have a strict schedule, but what's good is that if we miss one of the days during the week, if we don't do school you know, that day, then we can make it up over the weekend, and there's no worry about um, missing days and stuff like that. So we've developed a thing over the course of the three years on board that we call C-Team and C-Team is our own community service effort where we pick up plastic out of the ocean and we have a series of nets and often when we're in marinas other kids from other families will show up and want to do C-Team with us um, which has just been an incredible sort of offshoot of our, our time on board the boat. We didn't expect for it to happen, it just sort of happened organically. So I grew up in, Midwest, in the Midwest, so I didn't really grow up with sea legs, so to speak. Um, but uh, as soon as we stepped foot on this boat, I knew it was right for us. It had bunk beds for the kids and the kitchen the way I liked it, and it just felt good. The one thing that surprised me about our boat is the Huckins family, that it is such a community. Uh, gosh, we just, we love everyone. We love Buddy and Cindy and the whole crew. Um, and we like that the bond, there, there's a, a certain amount of bonding between Huckins owners. It's a really beautiful thing. And you look around the dock here in, in, in the moorings of Vero Beach and just see what uh, what Huckins has created over the years. And we're, we are proud owners of, uh, of a boat like this because they're gorgeous, they're timeless, they're strong. I mean, we've had our boat through the Gulf Stream, out in the Bahamas, all over coastal Florida. Uh, and we're just scratching the surface of what these boats can do. And, uh, and we, love, we love being a part of the Huckins family.